Joseph Murphy. The Gateway to Automatic Riches. The gateway to infinite riches is hidden in that magic spiritual gem given to you in the Bible. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. John 10.10 10. Down through the ages, people have sought the key to riches and success, not knowing that the key was within themselves. You are here to lead a full and happy life, to give expression to your hidden talents and release the imprisoned splendor within you. God is the giver and the gift, and all the riches of God are awaiting your discovery, application, and enjoyment. By applying the laws of your mind, you can draw forth from the treasure house within you everything you need in order to lead a rich, glorious, and abundant life. A few years ago, I gave a class on mental and spiritual laws in the light of Emerson. One of those present was a young woman named Carol W., who had spent that morning going through the process of applying for work there. She had two small children, and their father had recently walked out and disappeared. I noticed her intent attitude as I quoted from Emerson and elaborated in light of the laws of mind. In one passage that particularly struck her, a favorite of mine by the way Emerson declares, in all my lectures I have taught one doctrine, the infinitude of the private man, the ever availability to every man of the divine presence within his own mind, from which presence he draws at his need inexhaustible power. Carol spoke with me afterwards and said that she remembered reading Emerson in college, but at that point nothing made an impression on her. The professor taught Emerson as a literary figure from 19th century America, not as a great thinker with vital lessons for all of us today. Now, however, she saw him and his ideas in a totally new light. She announced that she intended to start using those ideas to draw from the divine presence within her and promised to let me know the results. A few weeks later, Carol dropped by my office. Her face was transformed, like someone for whom great things had been done. My life is totally changed, she announced. I want to tell you all about it, and I hope you will share my experience with others. I promise, I replied. What have you done, and what are the results? After your lecture, she said, I went home and wrote a statement, a message I wanted to give to my subconscious mind. Here it is. She passed me a card. On it was written, I acknowledge and praise the source within, and I make contact with my thought. I give thanks that the gateway to riches is now open wide for me. God's riches flow freely to me, and more and more money is circulating in my life every day. Every day of my life I grow richer spiritually, mentally, financially, and in all ways. Money is God's idea circulating in my life, and there is always a surplus. I give thanks to the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. 1 Timothy 6.17 Several times a day, she continued, I read this and declare it with feeling and enthusiasm. I realize now that as I shape my inner thought life, my exterior life will follow. And it works. Well, you know, I remarked, Emerson said, the key to every man is his thought. And it sounds as if you have discovered how to turn that key. Has it brought you the peace and prosperity you wish for? And how, she said with a smile. Right from the start, I found I was a lot calmer and more confident. I didn't yell at the kids. I didn't feel my heart sink every time I opened the mailbox and saw another stack of bills. I knew that the gateway was opening. Then yesterday, there was a letter in the box from a lawyer in Houston. When my grandfather passed on a couple of years ago, he left me and my cousins some mineral rights in West Texas an oil company was leasing the exploration rights, but it was no big deal. My share came to about $50 a year. Now though, they've made a big strike of natural gas. My royalties this year will be almost $100,000 and there could be even more in the future. Money is God's idea circulating in my life. All Carol's financial troubles were over. She discovered that the gateway to prosperity was through her own subconscious mind. Its ways are past finding out. A while ago, I had a conversation with Timothy W., who had just been fired by the new director of the non-profit organization where he had worked for 30 years. I'm at the end of my tether, he told me. Everywhere I look, I've been turned down. They never say so, of course, but I know it's because of my age. If they give any reason, mostly they don't. They say things like needing fresh ideas and new approaches. I know what that really means, 
It means I'm not 25 anymore. Of course not, I said, but your age is not what you're offering an employer. You are renting them your knowledge, experience and wisdom that you have garnered through the years. What you are seeking is also seeking you. At my suggestion, Timothy tried a new approach. Each night and morning he prayed, knowing that his subconscious mind was the gateway to expression, abundance and the riches of life. This was his prayer. Infinite intelligence knows my hidden talents and opens up a new door of expression for me in divine order. This knowledge is immediately revealed to my conscious mind. I will follow the lead that comes clearly and definitely into my mind. At the end of a week, he noticed a fundraising ad on TV. He found a whole series of ideas come into his mind for modifying and sharpening the approach the group was taking. When he looked at the group's website, he saw that one of their officers was someone he had met at a seminar a couple of years before. He made an appointment, went in, and explained his ideas. The officer listened, then said, Tim, there is a place here for you if you can see your way clear to accepting it. We really need fresh ideas like yours. Timothy accepted the offer at once. His salary and responsibilities proved to be far greater than in his previous position. Remember, it is from within, not from without, that you get in touch with the riches of life. The electromagnetic waves that carry radio and TV programs permeate your environment. But if you want to benefit from a program, you must use the proper equipment and connect to the right frequency. It is the same with the wealth of the universe. It is all around us, but you must use the right equipment, your subconscious mind, and enter the right frequency, effective prayer, to get the results you want. How a trip to Japan became a reality. Tatsuko Wai is a young woman of Japanese origin who listens regularly to my morning radio program. In a letter, she told how the show had changed her life. I have dreamed of going to Japan to visit my grandmother, who is in her 80s, but the flight was much too expensive. One day I heard you say what to do if you want to take a trip and do not have a penny in your pocket. You said we should believe we had received the answer and to take some action to indicate our faith that our prayer was already answered in our deeper mind. I decided to try it. I made sure my passport was up to date and I packed a suitcase with everything I would need and put it next to the door of my apartment. Next, I spent time every morning and evening imagining my arrival in Japan, going to my grandmother's house, giving her a warm hug and having a long talk in Japanese. I acted this out in my mind over and over until it felt like something that was actually happening, not just an act of imagination. Not long after I began this program, I ran into someone I knew from college. He told me he was just back from Australia. When I asked how he could afford such an expensive trip, he said he had gone as a courier. Companies sending delicate goods abroad often find it safer and faster to send them with someone as checked luggage. If you can go at short notice and restrict yourself to a carry-on bag, you can get amazing bargains. I called a courier service that same afternoon. Two days later, they telephoned to ask me to escort some design mock-ups to Tokyo. They offered me a round-trip flight for $100. The next evening, I was embracing my grandmother just as I had imagined. Please tell everyone to put their confidence in the strength of the infinite within. Your good can come forth to you in unforeseen ways. A physicist says substance is the gateway to all the money you need. Ravi B is a young physicist born in Madras, India, who visited me recently. He told me that his understanding of reality, shared by many modern physicists, is that spirit and matter are one. Energy and matter are interconvertible and interchangeable. Matter is the lowest degree of spirit, and spirit is the highest degree of matter. In other words, they are both aspects of one and the same thing. Properly understood, matter is universal substance, or spirit or energy reduced to the point of visibility. The formed and unformed world are made out of the one substance we call spirit. All things are made by the self-contemplation of spirit. Ravi told me, I came to America on a very small fellowship, not nearly enough to survive, but I didn't get panicky. I knew the invisible would become visible. I declared in my heart, divine spirit is my instant and everlasting supply. It takes the form of food, clothing, money, friends, and everything I need right here and right now. I decree this, and I know the manifestation takes place now, for God is the eternal now. 
His declaration became manifest by way of a total stranger. They met in an elevator when the stranger remarked that he had recently returned from a business trip to India. He turned out to be head of the research arm of a major Silicon Valley chipmaker. When he heard what Ravi's specialty was, he immediately offered him a position in his lab, with a handsome salary and stock options. Never underestimate the powers of personally affirming God, or the living Spirit Almighty, your instant and everlasting supply that never fails. It will then manifest in countless ways and through many channels, perhaps through total strangers. Remember, you were born to be rich and inevitably to prosper along all lines through the use of your God-given faculties, which lie stretched in smiling repose within you. How to help others to the gateway to riches, true place and honor. When you wish to help a friend, a relative, an associate, or anyone who seeks your help to find his or her true place in life and become rich in livingness and givingness, use the following prayerful meditation in activating the forces for them. Infinite Spirit in its wisdom opens up the gateway for true expression in life, where she is doing what she loves to do, is divinely happy and divinely prospered. She is divinely led to the right people who appreciate her talents and she receives marvelous and wonderful income for wonderful service. She is conscious of her true worth, and she is blessed and prospered with God's riches beyond her fondest dreams. I turn this prayer over to my subconscious mind, which has the ability to accomplish it. It brings it to pass in divine order. Repeat this prayer slowly, quietly, feelingly, and knowingly, pouring life, love, and enthusiasm into your words. You will be amazed how the wisdom of the subconscious will respond. It never fails. Recently, during a lecture series in San Diego, a man came to see me at my hotel. He introduced himself as Cliff A., a broker with a financial service, then said, I've been praying morning and night for prosperity and promotion, but it simply doesn't work. I've got a good education, lots of experience, everything it takes, but I'm not getting anywhere. Not only that, I'm in a real bind financially. I've been trading heavily in biotech stocks, on margin, and if something doesn't turn around very soon, I'm going to end up wiped out. It's not my fault, the people I talk to give me terrible advice. I think maybe they have it in for me. As we talked, I discovered that Cliff held many deep-seated grudges and prejudices against his former employers, as well as his superiors at his current firm. I explained to him that as long as his mind was cluttered with hostility, grudges and fears. His failure attitude would neutralize all his prayers. It was a little like mixing an acid and an alkali. One neutralized the other. I suggested he redirect his mind, emphasize prosperous thinking, and enter into the spirit of forgiveness for himself and others. Accordingly, he began to meditate twice daily on the following prayer. I forgive myself for harboring negative and destructive thoughts, and I release my former employers and present associates to God completely, wishing for them all the blessings of life. Whenever I think of any one of them, I will immediately affirm, I have released you. God be with you. I know as I continue to do this, that I will meet them in my mind, and that there will no longer be any sting present. I claim promotion now, success now, harmony now. Divine law and order are mine now. God's wealth flows to me in avalanches of abundance. Life is growth and expansion. I am an open channel for God's riches, which are ever active, ever present, unchanging and eternal. I give thanks now for the riches within and without. What I am now decreeing comes to pass and the light of God shines upon me. Cliff followed this prayer process faithfully, taking care that he did not subsequently deny what he had affirmed earlier. He found himself attracting new people and being led to certain books, certain teachers, and certain classes on the subconscious mind. He discovered that he had set into operation subtle forces of his subconscious mind that correlated with his habitual thinking and prayer life. He was soon promoted to his firm's Los Angeles office with much higher pay. Moreover, one of the companies he had invested in received a patent on a valuable process. The stock tripled in a week. Cliff discovered that his changed attitude was really the gateway to fulfillment of his dreams. Dream noble and godlike dreams, and as you dream, so shall you become. You go where your vision is. Meditation for opening the gateway to right action. 
The following meditation will establish judgment and confidence in taking the right action for any situation. I radiate goodwill to all humankind in thought, word and deed. I know the peace and goodwill that I radiate to every person comes back to me thousandfold. Whatever I need to know comes to me from the God Self within me. Infinite intelligence is operating through me, revealing to me what I need to know. God in me knows the answer. The perfect answer is made known to me now. Infinite intelligence and divine wisdom make all decisions through me, and there is only right action and right expression taking place in my life. Every night I wrap myself in the mantle of God's love and fall asleep knowing divine guidance is mine. When the dawn comes, I am filled with peace. I go forth into the new day full of faith, confidence and trust. Thank you, Father. Chapter Points to Remember 1. The gateway to infinite riches is based on the spiritual gem. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. John 10.10 10. You are here to lead a full, happy and rich life. You are here to squeeze the last drop of happiness out of life. 2. Emerson taught one doctrine, the infinitude of the private person. This means that the riches of the infinite are within you. You can contact all the powers of the Godhead in you through your thought life. As you think of riches, guidance, inspiration and creative ideas, there will be a response according to the nature of your thought. It responds by corresponding. 3. You are not selling your age to employers, but your talents, abilities, wisdom and experience garnered through the years. Realize that what you are seeking is also seeking you. Claim that Infinite Spirit is opening up a new door of expression for you, where you are amply rewarded financially, and it will respond accordingly. It never fails. 4. If you want to take a trip anywhere around the world, act as though your prayer were answered. Do all the things you would do to prepare for the trip, as if you actually had the money in your pocket. Believe you have it now and you will receive it. In your imagination, Feel yourself in that country or city now. Repeat the drama frequently until it gets into your subconscious and then it will come to pass. 5. Spirit and matter are one. Energy and matter are one. The scientist uses the term energy for spirit, which is God. God is the only presence, power, cause and substance. Therefore, spirit is the reality of money, food and clothing. The whole world of matter is simply spirit in form, reduced to the point of visibility. Claim that God or Spirit is your instant and everlasting supply, and that money is now flowing to you freely, joyously and endlessly this very moment. Believe and know, realize and understand that the formless is forever taking form. Let money and all kinds of riches flow to you now. 6. When you wish to pray for riches and true expression for another, realize that Infinite Spirit opens up the gateway for his true expression and that God's riches are flowing to him in avalanches of abundance. 7. Changed attitudes change everything. If a person places emphasis on the spirit of forgiveness and goodwill to all, and also forgives himself for harboring thoughts of failure, lack, and resentment, and then pours life, love, energy, and vitality into his thoughts of promotion, riches, expansion, honor, prestige, and recognition, his deeper mind will respond with compound interest, and his desert will rejoice and blossom as the rose. 8. Allow the meditation at the end of the chapter to penetrate your thinking for deciding on the right action to take.